guys, it's your girl Tara. Um, it's Wednesday and this is your Wednesday Wisdom Tip. I am your professional, certified, transformational strategy, life counseling coach. Wow, that's a lot of information, that's a lot of titles. But I do a lot because guess what? We as people, we are very diverse and it takes a lot to develop us in various areas of our life. I'm here today, my mission is this guys, simply to help you heal, reveal, heal, and destroy all those emotional disparities and mentality that, mentalities that life has placed on us. I'm also here to help you guys to rediscover, revive, and relaunch your life. Because guess what? Throughout life, we have various challenges. Various challenges. Now, I know I haven't been on in a while, but I've been doing a lot of things behind the scene um, to prepare for the wonderful things that I've been doing. I just want to share a little bit with you what I do and how I do it before we go into today's topic. I am, like I said, I am a professional certified counseling, transformational strategy, like counseling, counseling, sorry, counseling coach. And what that is is just what it is. I do counseling, I'm a professional counselor, but I'm also a certified life coach that, that operates in the, in, the, um, in the function of helping you transform and strategize your life. And I mainly work with women. I do work with men, but my, my core group are, are women. And my thing about that is we as women, we deal with so many diversities. We wear so many different hats. And guess what? We're there's a there's an emotional disparity that has been placed on us, and we and when I use that word disparities, that means sometimes we have been placed in a place, placed in a place that causes us to function on a certain level while emotionally we're dying. So today we're going to talk about that. I'm going to be coming on every Wednesday. Now at the end of this broadcast, at the end of this live. I'm going to teach, show you how you can work with me because I have individual group, groups. I work with. I have individual private groups. I um, offer individual sessions, but then I offer also a subscription. And this subscription is to help you rediscover, revive, and relaunch your life because we have so many diverse things that we have dealt with or not dealt with that has transformed and conformed our lives into emotional wrecks and um, disparities that we're not necessarily proud of or living our fullness, a life out of. So we're going to talk about that today. Today, we're gonna, I'm going to give you a few tips on how to heal from emotional heartaches. Wow. How to heal from emotional heartaches. When I tell you everyone has emotional heartaches, they do. Everyone has emotional heartaches. And it's, you can't get away from them, but you can heal from them. And those heartaches can cause, oh wow, uh, a lot of times those heartaches cause you to become, be in a cycle of, of a need cycle. When I say an emotion, it's, it's, an, it's an emotional need cycle where you're seeking intimate fulfillment. You're seeking to be fulfilled intimately. And when I use that word intimately, I'm not talking about sex because but that sex can come along with it. But I'm sharing that intimately. You're looking for something to fill a void. And we all have that void that we want to be filled. But what happens is this. What happens is this. We get in a conundrum, a cycle where, oh, it's almost like we're... We're emotional, we're, we're searching to, it, it, it becomes draining to us. It becomes disappointing, it becomes draining, and we have frustration, and we're just in that cycle of, of disappointment. We, it's draining to us, and it's, it's frustrating to us, so that today I wanna just share a few tips, not many, and let me tell you what happens when, um, we're in that emotional cycle that causes us to long for that fulfillment, that emotional fulfillment, intimately. We look at, we're looking for that intimately. We turn to sex. 
a lot of times. We turn to sex, we turn to food, we turn to drugs, shopping. Oh God, that was one of my vices. Shopping and sweets was one of my vices. And one vice that I see that has been reoccurring lately is we turn to, well, it's actually two vices that we turn to, that we as women turn to. Exercise, because we want to make our bodies be perfect and plastic surgery. And of course, we, I got to throw that in for my sisters. Well, well, my sisters, when I say sisters, I mean sisters of all colors, because we all sometimes wear we even me with my short hair. But we turn to those things trying to get fulfilled, trying to be, trying to be satisfied, and it's only a temporary fix. It's kind of like this. You know when you hurt yourself, you get hurt really, really bad? Has anybody ever experienced a, a cut or a wound that was so deep and you kept trying to put a Band-Aid on it, and every time the Band-Aid uh, took off, you took the Band-Aid off, the, the wound was still there, and actually it, it, looked, it looked worse, or my gosh, don't hit it. If you have a Band-Aid on, a small Band-Aid trying to hide the wound and you hit it, oh my gosh, it just causes that wound to bleed profusely. And that's what happens to us emotionally. What happens emotionally when we're in that cycle, and I share this information, I share a lot of this in my book. A lot of you know, guys know I am an author. I shared it in my first book, Ladies Let's Talk, Life, Lies, Love, and Relationship. And I talk about that emotional cycle that causes us to be unfaithful. And when we hear that word unfaithful, we think it's in relationships, but it's actually been unfaithful to the real, our real selves, our true selves. So it causes us to make these decisions and go in and have these cycles of chaos in our life. And we don't, sometimes we don't know how to um, break those cycles, to break those cycles. So we stay in that cycle of seeking sex for love, for that fulfillment. We stay in those cycles when we get emotional, we're in that emotional cycle or conundrum. We look for, uh, some, some of you guys are popping pills. You know, some guys are, that's an addiction for you. Sometimes it's television, um, it's food, it's shopping. Shopping was one of my, was one of my, my, one of my vices. I never forget, I had to break that vice. My mom passed in 2011 and wow, I went on, I love shoes, you guys, I still love shoes. <laughs> but I had to realize I'm used, I, I bought so many pairs of shoes. It was ridiculous. I mean, pumps, heels. I brought so many pairs of shoes that it was ridiculous. And what happened was this. I realized I'm buying these shoes because I'm not dealing with the emotions that's coming behind the hurt because my mom had passed. I was buying those shoes, not because I just like shoes, but it made me feel good at that particular time. It was healing it was a temporary fix for the pain that I was feeling. And that causes an emotional cycle. And if you don't know that, what happens is you will continue in that cycle for the rest of your life, being unfulfilled, unhappy, not living your life full of joy and purpose. So listen, I'm going to give you a few tips because I'm not going to be long, long today, but it is, this is Wisdom Wednesday. And I will be coming on every Wednesday sharing some wisdom tips. And those tips are going to help you. Now, like I said, at the end of this broadcast, I'm going to teach you how to work with me because I have private groups, individual groups, and I also have a subscription that you can subscribe to to help you even further become that whole person, that person, that really true happy person, that person that's really full of joy and full of walking and living in that purpose, that real person, and not the mask that we put on sometimes. So how, okay, so let me just give you a tip. Let me give you a tip. Um, in my book, Let's Talk, because uh, I'm always talking, if you, know, if you guys know me, it's Let's Talk with Tara. Let's Talk, Breaking Unwanted Cycles, A Guide to Living a More Fulfilled Life. Who wants, everybody wants to live a fulfilled life, but we have to break those cycles in our life. And I share this in that book. It talks about identifying because if we're gonna heal from the emotional heartaches, the first thing that we have to do, we have to identify what 
the root cause of that hurt is. The first thing that one must do, that we have to do before we can heal from any emotional heartache, we have to identify what that heartache is, the root of that heartache. And what happens is this, oftentimes we focus on the fruit and not the root. And when I say the fruit, we focus on the symptom. A symptom is shopping. A symptom is depression. A symptom is overeating. A symptom is buying new cars every three years. A symptom is uh, having to live in a certain neighborhood. A symptom is looking a certain way to, a, to where it becomes a compulsion. If, if it's not there, I'm not happy, happy. I have to get it to make myself happy, and then once I get it, I'm tired of it. Um, a cycle is, a fruit is having to get the latest weed every time it comes out. I'm just going to keep it real, ladies. Or having to get the, having to, trying to impress everyone on social media when emotionally you're dying. Trying to impress, impress everyone at work when emotionally you're dying. Trying to be the best uh, evangelist, because I, I work with a lot of uh, church leaders and women in the ministry, trying to be the best first lady when in, emotionally you are dying. You are dying. So first thing you have to do is identify the root. But we're always looking at the fruit. When we look at a tree, if we just look at a tree, most of the trees look alike. Most trees look, you can't tell just looking at a tree what it is unless you see the fruit of the tree. Um, when it's a pine tree, you see the, the fruit from that pine tree, the pine cone. You think, oh, that's a pine tree. If it's a magnolia tree, the fruit from that is the magnolia bloom. So we notice the trees by the fruit. And that's what we usually, we look, usually see. When we see the behaviors, those fruits are behaviors. The result of the root of the call, the tree. Because the tree, whatever that root is, is what it's going to develop into. So a lot of times we look at the fruit, which are the behaviors that we display in our lives because we're hurting emotionally and we never deal with the root cause of the behaviors. Let me share an example of what I'm saying with you. Um, a lot of times I find in my practice that a lot of women have been emotionally fractured by molestation, shame, and guilt as a result of that. And they never deal with it. I have a lot of women that in the African-American culture, especially in certain denominations, if they got pregnant out of wedlock, they were just shamed, 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 shamed. And they carry that shame and that emotional heartache for years, for years in their lives. So, um, and that happened to me. Uh, for years, I did things because I was just bad behavior because I never dealt with, well, what's the real, where's this hurt coming from? Where's this anger coming from? Where's this, um, this lowlessness coming from? Where's this anxiety coming from? Because everything has an origin. Everything that we go through, it has an origin. And if you never find the origin, you will never, I'm going to say that again, if you never identify the origin, the root of your problem, you will never live a life full of joy and purpose. It will always be a mess. It will all, you will always have a level of it, but you will never be completely whole until you heal from those emotional wounds that have 
um, plagued you throughout life. So I teach women how to identify. You have to identify the root problem. Now, in identifying that root problem, a lot of times you're going to go through some emotional hurt because it's going to dig up some emotional pains and disparities and emotions and thoughts and feelings that cause the fruit. That was, that's the root cause. And what happens is when we feel those things, we want to shut them down. Oh, I don't want to go through this. It's just too much for me. It's too much for me to handle. And we want to shut those emotions down. And what happens when we shut those emotions down, we never heal. We keep compiling other things, other behaviors on top of it. And you never get to see the, the root. The only time you see a root on the tree is when the tree is cut down and it's dug up. And those roots run deep. Guess what? Your emotional roots, they run deep. And if you don't dig those roots up, they're going to grow back. They're going to grow back. So I'm here to help you identify the root and stop focusing on the fruit. What the problem, the behaviors, let's find the problem, let's find the root of the problem so that the behaviors will stop and that you can live a life full of joy and purpose. This is your girl, Tara. This, I am your professional certified life strategy, uh, uh, I'm sorry, transform, transformational strategy life coach. And I got, kind of got a little tongue tied because it is a lot. But it's a lot. If you've been listening to me today, it's a lot that comes with us. We are very diverse people, men and women. But women, we're a little bit more diverse. So I just can't be your counselor. I just can't be your, your certified professional life coach. I can't just be uh, give you strategies. I have to work with you from a professional counseling, certified life coaching, strategic standpoint, so that I can complete, so that I can help you be whole, be completely whole. Let me share tell you how, how you can work with me. Let me share how you can work with me. At the end of this video, I'm going to put some links in and you can go to my website. I do individual. I work with individuals every day. I work with some wonderful clients that have um, experienced some wonderful, some great results, some healing results, and they're living their best life. I also provide private group sessions that are core sessions that identify with specific topics, specific things that women are dealing with. But then I also have a membership, and it's a six-month membership. And this membership comes with a private, uh, it's a private membership. Everything that I do is private, it's confidential. But it helps you rediscover, revive, and relaunch your life. And that's what I'm here for. I'm here, here to help you rediscover, revive, and relaunch your life. So I've been talking to you today, give you a little few tips on how to heal from uh, emotional heartaches. And I talked to you today, I kind of had my notes up, but I didn't really need them because I talk about this all the time. And I share from two books. My first book, Lady Let's Talk, Life, Lies, Love, and Relationship. This book help, helps you identify um, a lot of those cause issues and things that we, as people and women, you know, young and old, we face. And then I also share from my new book, um, Let's Talk, Breaking Unwanted Cycles, A Guide to Living a More Fulfilled Life. So, and I'll put those links in also. But you guys, this has been your girl, Tara. I am your professional certified counseling life coach. I transform and I help you strategize your life. I help you rediscover, revive, and relaunch your life. 
the link join me um, for more information how to work with me I'll put the link at the bottom of this video for now you guys have a wonderful Wednesday I hope this wisdom tip gave you some wisdom gave you some information so that you can start living your best life live your life full of joy and purpose thanks guys